hey everyone and welcome back to my channel so in the last video we have learned how we can draw lily of valley in different different perspective different different angle how we can create our own composition with leaves and uh, uh, different kind of uh, flower shape and birds so in today's video i'm going to show you how we can paint these flowers with two different technique so i have divided my sheet into two different parts with the help of masking tape i am using masking tape because second one is wet on wet i have created my own composition so for the first uh, one as you can see slightly all the flowers are on one side this one the flowers are in alternate direction so these things you can do and if you want to learn all these things you can refer to my previous video i'll add a link into the description section and i'm using 09 size round brush so let's start with the first one so for the first one i'm using very light shade of gray color so you can create uh, this color with the mix of brown and blue uh, you can also add a little hint of red as well if you want to or you can use a very light shade of uh, white and black totally up to you how you want to create your color and then with the help of light color itself i'm going to paint every flower that i have so if the consistency is too watery then you can grab some color from the sheet using dry brush technique so dry your brush and then grab all the color from that particular area so i'm filling my flower with the help of gray color but i'm also keeping a negative space uh, in between anywhere wherever you like because the bright white area is also important in these particular flower because these are white flower and we are painting it on a white sheet so it's quite difficult to show those things so make sure you are leaving a negative space and also you can add a little bit of light blue light green color shades as well in between but make sure those color are very light so let's paint the last one so i'm adding gray color keeping the shape intact i'm also adding a little bit of light blue color and green color at the top of the flower and at the base of the flower keeping a negative space as well so that is how we can paint all the flowers now let's add stems so i'm using sap green color for the stems and sub stem for all the flowers you can use a smaller size as well for fine uh, structures but i'm using tip of my brush to create all these structures and attach all the flowers with the main stem using sub stems and with the help of very light green shade i'm adding a little extended structure for each flower and let it dry for some time meanwhile we can paint the leaves now you can paint leaves uh with multiple ways but i'm keeping it quite simple so i'm using wet on wet technique only i'm wetting my leaf area with the help of light green color the area should not be too wet or too dry i'm using damp uh sheet uh not too dry not too wet and i'm adding multiple green shades into it creating lines like this so that uh, we can get some more structure into the leaves and uh, i'm also keeping the curl area separate as compared to the main area so i'm uh, doing these things for the main area first keeping the edges little bright as compared to the whole uh, leaf structure and i'm also keeping a light negative space in between the curl and the main area of the leaves so likewise you can paint your leaves or you can paint your leaves in any other way as well totally up to you how you like to paint these leaves uh, my sheet is still wet so i can add more uh, bright green color into it if your sheet is not too wet just make sure to wet the sheet and then add more structure into it otherwise you will get hard edges for it now 
I'm adding little light grey shades uh, into the flower. So I'm using grey color, brighter than the previous one, but we don't have to do it too much. I'm just adding a little shades of grey. So now we are almost done with the first uh, technique and uh, we are going to do some finishing touch uh, in this particular one later but now let's start with the second one so second one is totally on wet and wet technique so i'm going to wet in my sheet with the help of clean water you can also use light shade of colors as well if you want to Make sure you are not uh, adding any water into the flower shape. We don't have to wet the flower shape and then add colors into it. You can add any color whatever you like to but in today's painting I am going to add green and blue color for the background. So right now we are creating backgrounds and these are white flowers so we have to make sure we are not ruining our flower structure while doing these background so do it one by one do it slowly but whenever you are blending your color make sure you are not getting any hard edges so try to blend the colors with the help of clean water and also make sure you are not ruining your flower shape so keep your flower shapes intact you can add dark shades of color as well but uh, uh, we are using wet on wet technique so make sure your uh, consistency should be watery but you can use brighter color as well for the background And I know it's quite difficult to do these things because the flower structure is quite small. So we need to do it very carefully. You can use masking fluid as well if you want to. Then you don't need to think about the flower shape and all. But right now I'm doing it without masking fluid. So that's why I have to take care of flower structure carefully. Do it uh, in this small section like I am doing I am creating a small section with the help of clean water uh, then I am adding color into that particular area blending color with the help of clean water so do it uh, uh, one by one for each section and that way you will not get any hard edges for the background And do it quickly so that you will not get any hard edges. You might end up having not uh, a good shape of flower maybe. But it's okay. Just keep going. Try to make the flower shape intact as much as you can. And that is enough. Try to make your background uh, slowly and carefully. We are going to do an additional step at the end. In that particular process, uh, we can make sure we are having a good flower shape. So that is something we can do. And once you are done with the background, I am going to add a little shade of grey into my flowers but before that you can also add little dark shades of green and blue if you want to and keep your flower shape uh, the way you want but don't do these things if your sheet is dried always try to do these things when your sheet is wet wet and wet technique is totally uh, something that we need to learn how it works it is not like wetting your sheet and adding colors into it you have to take care of multiple things when we use wet and wet technique i'll try to explain all these things in an 
another video but for now let's add grey color into our flowers we are repeating the same thing what we did in the first flower but this time as our flower is white and background is uh, with some colors into it so we can add a little bit of grey hint into the flower so that is only thing we need to do as far as flower is concerned and then we can paint our leaf once our sheet gets dried and we can add stems and sub stems as well like we did in the first one Now we are done with the stems and sub stems and a uh, little bit of uh, finishing touch here and there. So now we can paint our leaves. So I'm going to repeat the same thing what I did in the first one and uh, for uh, lily of valley the flower is more important as compared to leaf because leaf is same as other leaves as well but when it comes to the white flower and doing it in the white sheet it's quite difficult so i'm keeping things very simple so that even if you are a beginner you can give it a try uh, to paint these flowers now let's paint the extended sub stem uh, around each flower and you might feel like you are not satisfied with the flower shape it's fine keep it like that and let me remove the masking tape first so either you can keep your flower like this uh, this way this is also fine but if you are not happy with the flower shape and you want to keep it more uh, precise in terms of shape then you can do one thing a little cheating in the watercolor painting so what i'm doing is i'm using this fine uh, pen this is 005 mm and add flower structure over the flower shape you can use background you can remove the flower structure while uh, doing an, this particular step because this is the final step we are doing to get more precise flower shape into it so now you can see a better flower structure and we can do the same thing for the first one as well uh, especially when it comes to the open flower or when it comes to the overlapping of two flowers you can show these things more clearly when you do a little outlining of uh, flowers with the help of fine pen but i'm using a very fine pen so that we will not see a very highlighted black color into my sheet and these outlining you can do for the leaves as well if you want to so we are done with today's painting do let me know how you feel about this process and uh, thank you so much for all your love and support and thank you so much for watching my videos see you guys in the next video